My name's Clive Thomas, I'm Commercial Director for Solent Stevedores. Solent Stevedores is a multinational stevedoring organisation with operations in France, Singapore and the UK in four ports here. Um, within the Solent region, it's definitely the main centre of our operations, um, where we operate on about 50 acres of the port of Southampton. So tonight we're sponsoring the Maritime Legacy Award, which recognises an individual who has had a significant impact on the maritime sector in the region. Uh, principally, we wanted to sponsor this award because it reflects somebody who's invested a lot of time um, and effort in acting as an ambassador, a voice for maritime in the region, has had positive impacts on the skills development, so encouraging young people to enter the industry, supporting apprentices, uh, and also as somebody who's contributed to the economic growth of the maritime sector here. And the nominees for the Maritime Legacy Award are Rachel Kitley, nominated by Tom Harding. I have nominated Rachel Kitley. Under Rachel's leadership, Cowles Enterprise College has introduced a hugely successful Maritime Futures curriculum. A determination to give every pupil in Cowles a rich understanding of the maritime environment in which they live, pride in and belief that there are good careers in maritime if they want them. Andrew Webster, nominated by Melissa Walcott and Faye Reeve. I'm nominating Andrew Webster for the Maritime Legacy Award because he's a brilliant ambassador for the commercial marine industry. He's very passionate for the sector and everything that we do here at the Seawork Exhibition and Mercator Media Limited. He invests heavily in his people in terms of progression opportunities, our work home life balance, and I think this really helps us to put on a great Seawork Exhibition year after year. Captain Alan Yoop, nominated by Sharon Jones. From a project in 2019, Al Yoop has shaped the way that the Royal Navy works with industry, resulting in a case study for Solent Mez in the National Shipbuilding Strategy Refresh, influencing courses at Seamust and introducing UCAS clearing to stem the talent drain for our sector, building a network of more than 600 organisations and his legacy is in this approach expanding to take in all four nations as a national team.